Hi, this is just a quick video to show you how the V-Ray 4 feature in V-Ray 3 for Rhino 5 is working. I'm going to show you on some very very simple scene how to approach V-Ray 4. So first of all let me launch a real-time render to, to show you what's in the scene. So there's just a very simple green grass plane, it's this one, and there are some pavers uh, which are made of uh, concrete or whatever. So this is the scene. Okay, there's nothing special. It's, it's very basic and very simple. And let's do the magic. Stop the rendering and click on the surface. Let's go to V-Ray object and click on V-Ray fur. V-Ray fur was created and let's go to V-Ray asset editor in here. There is the object list in here for object. So first of all, length 3, this shouldn't be enough, um, let me put there something like 60. Uh, thickness, uh, let's make it a little bit uh, thicker, uh, like 0 0.5 or something. Uh, scale should be okay for this point and as the last one for the distribution, let's just lower the value to 1. And if I launch uh, the real-time render again, we're going to see how it's working on the surface. So far it's not having any material applied to the surface, so it's gonna be just white. So let's see. Okay, uh, so far we can't see anything because the render is uh, taking too long. Uh, but anyway, it's too dense, uh, we can lower the density uh, from 1, let's go to 0 0.2 maybe. It should be enough and also at the same time, okay, it's, it's uh, looking much better. Uh, let's lower the gravity to minus 2, uh, bend to 0 0.8, so it's going to be a little bit more bent in there. And length should be, it should say stick 60, yeah, it's okay. Uh, if we go to textures and when we go to length texture, we can go through, uh, for example, noise and let's change the frequency to maybe one, okay, to get a bit larger frequency on the noise, maybe 0 0.1, should be okay. And as the next step, we are going to apply material to the surface. There is a little surface in here, it's a representation for the V-Ray first, so we are going to apply material there. Apply material to selection. Uh, notice this is just a simple diffuse color, there is nothing, just a texture in the diffuse. And we are getting some really nice results already. Let's go back to V-Ray for object setting and for the length texture, text noise should be okay, but we might make this a little bit longer from 60 to maybe 100, okay, okay, it's looking better, and maybe we should put the gravity back to minus 1, so it's not bent that much, okay, let me just enable it for the wall image, So as you can see, we are already getting some really nice results with the V-Ray floor in there. It's really nice and realistic grass for distant places in, in the visualization, not for the close-ups. And this should do the work really in a really amazing way. If we go somewhere closer, let's say in here. So once again, as you can see, there's just a very simple V-Ray material, just a few clicks for V-Ray for object, and we are getting really nice, amazing and realistic grass.